Katie Linden is a holistic health coach and a busy mom of a toddler. She strongly believes in the benefits of probiotics. It helps with my digestion, um, so less bloating, ease of digestion, ease of elimination, uh, helped my skin. But she knows choosing a probiotic is not easy. That's a bit challenging when you look at the grocery stores and health food stores, but you want to really research the company. New research from Georgetown University Medical Center examined the labels of 93 different types of probiotics commonly found in drug stores. The study revealed only 33% of the probiotic labels could be linked to health benefits supported by clinical evidence, and many lacked basic information consumers need to make an educated choice. Often uh, they wouldn't list a dose. Uh, they wouldn't list a strain. This is not illegal, um, but it's just not helpful for people to know if there's evidence or not. Researchers say the best way to know you're getting the kind of probiotic you want is to look for a label that lists the family, species, and strain of the live bacteria. And a high number of strains is not necessarily a good thing. Let's say you have 10 different strains and every one is at a super low dose. It's probably not going to do anything. Uh, it's, it's probably not even going to survive. Uh, to get through the stomach. Researchers say there's a growing number of studies that show the benefits of probiotics. And it has 3 billion CFU. That's why Lyndon vows to keep doing the research for herself and her clients. Wendy Gillette, CBS News, New York. Probiotics are sold as dietary supplements which do not require FDA approval.